much and congratulations and thank you to the support from the public today over or over the lead up to MND yeah. Big Freeze at the G. It was just amazing to look out there and just sort of see that sea mm. of blue so beanies today. So many beanies. Oh, it was unbl- I, would have, I would have thought maybe 90% of the fans that went to the MCG today had their blue beanie on. And I it thought Erin Phillips was actually pink. I thought it was her. <laughs> yes. She was great. <laughs> she was unbelievable. And well done to everybody that went down the slide. Thank you very much, Tim. Jane Barney is next with the forecast. And, Jane, what's in store this week? Well, Mitch, it'll be a wet and windy Tuesday. Then it turns rather chilly. I'll have the full details next. Tomorrow on Sunrise, live and first at Apple HQ for their massive tech announcement. All the free upgrades coming to your iPhone, iPad and more. Plus, it's the box hair dye boom, why it's back in trend and the best brands at affordable prices. See you in the morning, Melbourne. On 7 News, the ACL curse, star after star, struck down. I missed five and a half to six years of of playing AFL footy. The knee injury game changer. Tried and tested overseas. Now it's here. Only on 7 News at 6. Hello again. Today was our break before wet and windy weather arrives. On a calm and cold start, parts were covered in fog, lingering in Geelong into the morning. Otherwise, it was sunny and temperatures slowly thawed out under that bright blue. It reached 15.6 in the city, then high cloud developed this afternoon, thickening late afternoon. Signs of a change on the way. Laverton, Point Cook, Scoresby and a few banks. Some of the chilliest this morning all on three. A few spots peaked at 14 this afternoon. Southeastern Victoria had leftover showers from Sunday's cold front. Otherwise, it was sunny ahead of high clouds streaming in from the west. Top temperatures really depended on whether you had lingering fog at first. Yesterday's system is now out over the Tasman Sea. The next one is approaching, but today was so nice thanks to that wedge of high pressure in between. That will move out of the way as the next system is a strong one. Here it is barreling through here on Tuesday, followed by a follow up a colder surge on Wednesday. So the dry break does come to an end overnight. Gusty showers will be spreading through, most frequent over the southwest up into the northeast of the state. But it won't skip the northwest. There's some rain for there too. A second surge arrives on Wednesday and this one is chilly, mainly for the south and northeast. This should produce a much needed five to ten centimetres of snow on the Alps. Around the nation tomorrow is sunshine for Brisbane, partly cloudy in Sydney, Adelaide shower up to 15 millimetres. Perth also showery. To Victoria, tomorrow is windy, north to northwesterly. These yellow areas are at risk of damaging wind gusts. It is wet across the state with showers passing through. They are least likely here in East Gippsland. Showers tending to areas of rain about the central and eastern ranges, particularly on the northern side, 20 to 30 millimetres highly likely. That's not alpine snow though, only cold enough for snow on the highest peaks tomorrow. Closer in, it is wet. You'll want full wet weather gear if you're working in it, an umbrella if you're at the ready if you're out and about. But with northerly winds gusting 60 to 80 k's an hour, they'll be hard to manage. Widespread showers across the Melbourne area becoming isolated at night or retreating mainly to the southeast. The city has frequent showers during the day, gusty winds, both showers and winds are easing for the evening at 16 but feeling cold. To the eight-day outlook where we are in for a run of colder weather. On Wednesday, a top of just 13, another big burst of showers during the morning with gusty winds easing as the day goes on. On Thursday, just 12, it is grey, there's some drizzly showers. Generally dry Friday through to early next week, a bit of cloud out there and tops around 14 degrees. So 16 for tomorrow, frequent showers in gusty northerly winds, all of that should ease at night, but there's another burst early Wednesday, Mitch. Proper bit of winter on the way. (laughs) Thank you, Jane. And that's the way it is this Monday, the 10th of June. Thanks for your company. For now, from the 7 News team, good night. The 7 News app will give you the news you want every minute of every day, including breaking news alerts. Download the 7 News app now.